Hi everyone, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working on the Stars and X's quilt. Did you forget about that one? It's been sitting on my long arm for like two weeks waiting to be finished. So let's finish it. I've been working on quilting this up. Actually, I quilted almost all of it like last week and then I just I haven't gotten back to it so it sat over the weekend and I'm picking it back up now I only have if you can see just this little bit left um, so I'm gonna get this done today and then I'm thinking about binding but let me show you what the quilt design looks like this one's called bread basket and I actually love this one um, it was one of the first designs that like I fell in love with just seeing this pantograph uh, and I thought it would be really nice on here when you look at it from a distance, I like the way that it looks. So I'm happy with this choice. And like I said, I just have a little bit left to go. And my Q24 is stitching away now. So as soon as I finish the row that it's on right now, we only have just a little bit left here. I'll advance the quilt and that'll probably be the last um, advancing. So I just probably have maybe three to three and a half rows left. Okay, it finished quilting that last pass and now I'm ready to quilt this bit. Uh, but first I need to baste it. So what I usually do is, as you can see, I have pins along the edge here. I pin it into the exact position that I want it. And then I start in the middle and then I work, you know, either direction. So I'm gonna start here, I'm pulling up my bottom thread, then I hold it with my hand and start basting. And I'm going to base all along this edge so that I can then remove the pins and this can just be quilted. And none of the edges of the quilt will come up because it has been basted down. And I start from the middle and I work out to both sides. And once this side is finished over here, uh, I will do the same thing for the other side. I go back to the middle here, I kind of usually, I usually like cross over. So I start a little bit to the left of where I started last time, pull up the bottom thread, and then I base it in the other direction. And now that that is finished and everything is secure, the edges are secure, it's, it's square how it's meant to be, I can finish sewing these last few rows. I just usually trim off the edge where I basted so nothing gets stuck on those threads and now I can start quilting again. And I've set it up and we're ready to start quilting uh, the next row. So here I'm just going to pull up the bobbin thread and once that comes up I just hold them while it starts stitching. It does a series of micro stitches at the beginning to really secure the stitches so they don't come undone. And then I'm able to just cut these threads and this will continue to quilt now. The quilt is all finished being quilted now and I can take it off of the long arm frame. So I just gonna unroll this. I ended up doing the orange at the bottom uh, and really there's not much of it on the quilt. Maybe just like, let's see not even six inches. So most of it is this green uh, floral up here. And then there'll just be a little strip of this orange across one of the sides. So first I take out the pins from the leader. And then after the pins are off, I can just pull this from the top off. And it's pinned to the top as well. So I need to take those pins out. And 
and now we can take the quilt and go trim it. And now I'm just going to lay the quilt out here and just trim it. I've mentioned this before, I just use scissors to trim my quilt, so I just start at an edge and then just cut across the whole side. Like I said, I'm really going to be pondering over binding because now that I see the quilt uh, like this, quilted and ready, the binding is the finishing touch and that will mean that we can use it. So I'm really going to be thinking about which one to choose and I'll be sharing that with you as soon as I do. Thanks for following along. I'll see you back here soon.